There's one right there. Yes. <laughs> the little the little small Cinco did the trick. Okay, folks. Now I'm going to show you how to catch a lot of fish. Today, I'm going to I'm going to show you just a way to catch just more fish than you can ever imagine. It's hot summer. It's the dog days of summer. And I'm just going to take I'm just going to catch just a world of bass. I might not catch too many real big bass. I'll catch decent bass, but I'm going to show you a really this neat little trick using a little jig worm and a spinning tackle. It's the ultimate in finesse fishing. Okay? Okay, now I'm going to start off this way. I'm going to take a, a little bitty jig head, 10 pound test line. I know you, you think of me as a power fisherman, and it, it, it doesn't equate, and you say, well, what's Roland doing fishing 10 pound line? Well, I'm having fun. That's really what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to catch a lot of fish. Finesse fishing is the best. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 4 inch 297 green pumpkin Senko, a little 4 inch model, take this little jig head right here, it's so cool, and just come, come down on the jig head, the 10 pound test line, a little bitty, little bitty hook, just come right on down. And just kind of just fish it just like this. I know in a bunch of hydrilla, you'd think, well, that little hook's going to get hung up. It might get hung up, and it probably get if you drop it in, this, in the grass here, it will get hung up. But you can you can kind of pull it loose. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm dropping this little thing down, and I'm going to catch a bunch of fish. Now watch this. Okay, what I'm going to do. There's a canal here, and there's a flat that comes in. It's all five and six foot. It comes in about ten foot right here. So I'm going to throw right up on this on this edge. I don't know if it's close to the edge, and I'm just going to kind of back away just for a second. Now you don't have to set the hook hard. Hey, on this technique, this is just finesse fishing. You just a light spinning rod. This is just a oh, and just just pull back. I think I just had a strike. Uh -uh. And just barely move it along. Okay. The beautiful thing about this technique is that anybody can do it. It's just, you know, you can, it's just, it's just just throwing it out there and just it, you can swim it along but but there's so many these fish just they just kind of get caught I mean you don't have to really hardly set the hook and it just kind of just pull slow and easy like I'm doing now and see what happens I'm in the grass. I'm in some grass. You can pop it off, and that's what I just did then. But you know what I did? I popped it loose, and look what happened. Look what happened. I popped it. Oh, I just had a good one on. I had about a three or four pounder. I was in the grass, and I popped it loose, and look what happened. I had one to hit it. Try that again. Okay. Throw it out there. I don't know what happened. That was, so, that was so cool. Just a ride on that point. Points are always good. I like to fish points. Points are the favorite, my favorite spots. point. Look at that guy. Ooh, son. Yes, sir. Right on that point. Look at this guy. 
another fish. I'm telling you what, folks. I'll catch. I'll catch just a hundred of them. A little bitty light spinner rod, ten pound test line. I mean, these these bass, they just travel in schools. Oh, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Oh well, I was going to lift. I was in the process of lifting them in, and he got away. Now, here's a little tip for you. When that worm gets torn up on this end, well, you could put super glue on it. That's one thing, or you can just cut a little teeny bit off right here, like that, and just go backwards with it. Just I'm just going to go backwards with the worm. Turn it on the on the little hook. Okay. Get it up there. That doesn't look like much, does it? <laughs> you know, this is a good way to catch fish. I'm telling you, folks. Just throw it right over there. Just right on that point. Okay, let's see what happens. There's one. I got one. I got one, son. I got one. <laughs> I'm telling you what. You can, they're not real big, they're not real big, but, you know, it's, oh, I was lifting them in, and he got off, I'm trying to lift them in, huh, well, my worm's really torn up, let me, let me try it again, throw it in there, be a line watcher, Yeah, he got it. He got it. Probably the same fish. I don't know if it's the same fish or not. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, see, the big power fishing, I mean, you see me fishing big frogs and you see me doing all kind of big heavy duty stuff. And you don't often see me with a spinning rod. Spinning rod, a little bitty worm. No, that's not, that's not something I normally do. But, and I know that's little bitty fish. That's, that's, they don't even hardly count. But, Hey, when you catch them about every cast, that's a pretty big deal. Okay, watch your line, watch your line, watch your line, watch your line, watch your line. Oh, there was a fish right there. One's hit it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Son. You know, you can't you can't beat schools of fish when they're like this. I don't know how many oh, I don't know how many they're there. That's a couple in a row. Now let me just show you a couple couple things I have to, to fish with. One of the real big deals for catching these fish just every cast almost, the finesse fishing is a four inch Cinco. And I'm throwing that on a, this happens to be a tenth of an ounce little, little lead uh, weight, a little tenth of an ounce thing and I'm just going to come into the worm. Okay, boom, doo -doo 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 -doo. and I'm, I'm fishing, here's the deal, that's an exposed hook. The hook's just sticking out. There's no kind of hydrilla here, but you know, I don't think it makes any difference. I mean, I'm gonna throw over here. Watch that line, watch that line, watch that line, watch that line. Watch that line. The one's got it. Oh, he hit it. He hit it again. He's got it. I just real hard. Uh, it's not much of a fish. Not much of a fish. Oh, pulled off. I don't know what happened. It was a small one. And I don't know why they're pulling off. It's a real sharp hook. Go right there. Watch your line, watch your line, watch your line, watch your line, watch your line. One's hit it, one's got it. I'm gonna set the hook a little harder this time. Oh. I'm telling you, folks, it's every cast. You know, that's the thing about this finesse fishing. You can, you can really, really have a lot of fun. You can catch so many fish, and uh, light tackle, it's just, it's just a ball. Every once in a while, you get a big one. I mean, this isn't a big one. Oh, it's about as big as you're going to get on this little rod without doing a special landing technique. 
But again, it's not a bad little bass. But you know, for light time, I tell you, in the summertime when it's so hot, and it's, it's the dog days of August, and I mean, <laughs> I mean, you, and when you catch fish, just cast after cast after cast. And what I'm looking for is, I'm on a canal right now, and this happens to be a little, a little opening where it goes into a big flat, and that kind of, that's kind of a good spot. But you can go along the hydrilla edges. Now, see, remember now, this is not weedless. This is not a weedless deal, but it doesn't get hung up bad. I'm going to show you real quick, real, real, uh, in fact, when you pop it loose, that's when it pops out of the hydrilla, that's sometimes when they hit it the best. So, and I only have 10 pound line. It's not, it's, this is not big time stuff. This is just really, really light line. But that's just a small little worm. It's not much of a worm. It's a small little hook. And I'm just, the edge is right there, okay, so I'm just going to make a cast right to the edge. Okay, and watch that line, watch that line, watch that line. Be a line watcher. So many of these fish bite little worms like this. This time of year, that's just candy to them. They just can't. They just can't resist it. It's just really a good deal. Now I hold my rod kind of high, but you don't have to set the hook very hard. See, this is an open hook, and it's just light line. I don't know if that sits on. Okay, that's grass. That's just grass. Catch four or five in a row, and then you just, you know, ease along to another spot. They're, you know, these little bass. Well, they're not all little. Some of them are good. They're right on the edge of these of these hydrilla pads, and you can actually just throw this little open hook jig right in there and pop it loose. And uh, that's probably where you're going to get your be better ones. Pretty deep along here, six or eight or ten feet deep, but they're they're fish down at the bottom. Oh, there's one right at the boat, right at the boat, right at the boat, right there. Okay, right here. Oh, son. Woo! Straight down under the boat. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a big bass. That's a pretty big bass. Yeah. Okay, hey, I like that. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Woo, son. Yeah, that's a better fish. the trick you'd think these medium-sized bass would <laughs> that's not a bad that's not bad you know they're not all little bitty fish I mean some of them are halfway decent you know and uh, uh, believe it or not I've caught some really nice ones we've caught a lot of fish today I mean there's just tons of fish in here they're just lots of fish just just kind of moving it along slow and easy yeah Oh, well, there's one, there's one, there's one. Uh-oh, I got him, I got him. Uh-oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Uh-oh, he's down in the grass. Oh, God, he's in the grass. I don't know if I can get him out. Uh-oh. Uh, he's in the grass. Oh. oh, look at that guy. Look, 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 I got a big one. I got a big fish, I got a big fish. He's all in the grass, he's in the grass, he's in the grass. He's in the grass. Yeah, 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 he's in the grass. Okay, yeah, he's a big fish in the grass. Son, son, he's in the grass. Yes, sir. Big fish. I finally got a big fish. Oh, yeah. I, I, there'd be some big fish. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. 
I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yes, sir. Look at this guy. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Decent fish. Decent bass. I tell you, when you fish these little wacky rigs, well, this isn't a wacky rig. When you fish these little four-inch worms and these little finesse rigs, you catch occasionally catch a big old four, five, or six-pound bass. That's just what you do. But look at all the little ones you catch. It's just a ton of fish. I mean, I've, I don't know. I've caught 20 or 30 bass today. All in that little bitty worm and a little bitty thing. I'm going to let him go. Nice little bass. And 10-pound line, a little one-tenth of an ounce little weight my little <laughs> this is such a cool little rod this is that pro series rod that we've helped help develop and so the seven foot rod is pretty light medium heavy action and the old favorite reel making a little short cast let it count down man that was fast you uh, there's another one there's another one there's another one Oh, I missed him. But anyway, folks, hey, try the finesse rig. Uh, middle of the summer, you'll catch a lot of fish. I'm going to catch that fish. We'll see you again soon, and thanks for watching. There, I got him. I got him. Oh, golly, he's right underneath the boat. He's right underneath the boat, right underneath the boat.